Hi, I'm Faith Touched, and this is me playing games. And we are going back to Mystery Trackers The Void, which is the first Mystery Trackers game. And she's Ot Punk. And we are doing this game, and I have completely forgotten everything about it. So that's fun. Let's keep going, shall we? Oh, I remember that we're stuck in here. And there was like, <laughs> yes, I do, but I don't remember what it was. So we are stuck in a gondola, the kind that goes over the mountains rather than the water. I don't know if they have a different name than that. Now they're locked first aid kit. I don't know why people lock first aid kits. And we have a hidden object puzzle. So we need a ball and a fish and a chili pepper. That's not a chili pepper. That's a chili pepper. And six banknotes. There's two. That looks like a $20 bill. Oh, that's what, that is American money. At least some of it is. Yes, the game is making a static sound. I think it's because the gondola shorted out. What am I doing? A uh, banknote and a shaver. And a block and a shaver. And handcuffs and a shuttlecock. Which I thought I saw. I don't think I saw handcuffs though. Oh, they're there. And a compass. There's a compass. You are so terrible. Oh, there it is. A birdie. Is that better? An ice axe. Where's the ice axe? Sigh. Oh, there it is. And seven springs. Does a slinky count? Yeah, I guess a slinky is kind of like a spring. It's not very springy, though. It's more, like, bouncy than springy. Which, I guess, is kind of the same thing? Question mark? Alright, so we need a ball, a banknote, and two springs. Let's see. That static noise is extremely annoying, though. I hear a frog, too. Why do I hear a frog? I mean, slinkies are in fact fun to play with, but like they're not like something that you would play with, not on purpose, but like for an extended period of time. You would play with a slinky if you were sitting somewhere and had nothing to do and there was a slinky there. That's what slinkies are for. But I don't know that people would say, I'm going to sit and play with a slinky and that is going to be how I'm going to spend X amount of time. That doesn't seem like a thing. I do not see the last spring. Spring, spring, spring. But there's a spring inside there. Maybe. Okay, where's the last spring? Oh, I remember we have the frog! Okay, I remember this. We're, there's all the people who are... who have disappeared inside the house and we have a frog. Yeah, it's this thing that's fitzing. And I assume this is to break the window. The pet frog is our hint button. Jagged shards jut out. I mean, you could knock out the shards with the pick. <sighs> okay, that's fine, sure. She holds a secret in her hand. Wait, what? Okay, let, let's just catch up a bit. All right, oh, that's right. There's the house with the... What the, well, I keep thinking circus. A theme park in the backyard. And let's see, the tram got stuck. Just as the tram was approaching the platform of the mountain hotel, a terrible thunderstorm broke out. Streams of lightning poured down and one managed to strike the tram, melting the wires. I was as good as imprisoned in a broke down tram. There is a first aid box on the tram wall. It's locked, but worth keeping in mind in case the need for medicine arises. The way to the mountain hotel. Malleus voids 
Dendrarium has an extensive network of transportation. The cable way stretches from the mansion to the mountain hotel and construction of the subway tunnel has already begun. Everything will be ready for your riding pleasure in the near future. Book your trip to Void's World today. Back to Void's Mansion. This strange compass won't work. It doesn't even have a pointer. I'll take it just in case. Its dial plate is quite weird. I mean, isn't that a pointer? Okay, and that's the last page. I now remember this game. I can take the light bulb if I cut the cord. Why is there a wax seal on that? Why don't I take a piece of sharded glass that I have here? All right, let's go this way so that it stops fixing us. This is an ordinary mountain hotel. If you ignore whatever the rest of that said, I wasn't paying attention. Weird. Angel covered in paint is fallen from grace. Who would tag an angel? Oh, it's kind of weird, isn't it? And I got a shovel. Wait, how come I still hear the fitzing? Hmm. Maybe that noise wasn't the thingy doodle. Here, let, let me quit and come back and see if it's still doing it. I guess that's just a sound effect. Ooh, look, it's the planets. It's very irritating. A galactical code block. Well, missing one planet. Minus one planet. Uh, okay, let's go over here since we were already over here. Look, it's the dude. Oh, he wants me to come through. Why don't you open the door for me? I need an access card to engage the deadbolt scales lock. He did shrink a lot. Either that or it is a very big gate. One or the other. Someone murdered the postman right here near the courtyard gates with a rapier-like -like weapon. The film is still intact. The last moments of this man's life are on it. Oh no, the postman. His uniform tells me he was stabbed to death. Really? Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, it wasn't a postman. It was a policeman. In front of the hotel, the statue of a fallen angel stretches out its wings in protest. His face has been tagged by a madman. I will not stand for paint defilement. Okay. There was a broken camera with film near the postman, a.k.a. Overcover Agent Skeleton. The final frames reveal the last moments of the poor man's life. Undoubtedly, Sirius Void killed him to keep the truth from getting out. Whatever that truth is. I need to be very careful. A killer is tracking me. Beyond the courtyard gates, my old friend was waiting for me. This time, he clearly beckoned me to follow. This may be sheer lunacy, but I swear he's pleading for help. There's a skeleton of a man lying on the grass near the gates. At first, I decided it was just a postman, but after examining the, de the decomposed body, I found his secret agent's badge. That means the police were tracking Malleus Void, but their agent was discovered. The agent appears to have died from stab wounds some time ago. Okay, there was film in the camera. It wasn't developed film. You couldn't actually have seen what was on the film unless you developed it. But whatever. All right, what's this over here? All right, five bullets, solvent, and a fish hook. Revolver, two skulls, a heart, a dagger, a dragonfly, a photo, there's a butterfly. Oh, a postage stamp, a dial, and an elephant. There's an elephant. All right, five bullets. Let's find the bullets. Here's another stamp. There's some money. I don't need money. Oh, there's a bullet. One, two. Yeah, it, that doesn't sound like a good plan, does it? You shouldn't carry a badge around with you if you are, in fact, a secret agent, probably. 
I mean, maybe in case, like, the police catch you and you need to prove you're not a bad guy? But it just seems like a bad plan. Let's see, a fish hook. I saw a fish hook. Nope, that's a... That's not a dragonfly. Don't know what it was, but it wasn't a dragonfly. I thought it was a lure. Uh, let's see, a revolver. I guess to go with the bullets, even though they didn't look like revolver bullets. Or at least some of them didn't. And two skulls. Whom I have not seen either. Is that a skull? Yes, okay. And a heart, which I did see. And a photo, which I assume is that, yes. Is that a wrench that looks like a hand? That's weird. A dial. And two more postage stamps. Is that one? Yes. And... Da, 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 da. Okay. Alright, so we need a fish hook revolver. Is that the revolver? That's a wrench hand. Okay, I, I'm not crazy. Why is there a wrench hand? That is very strange. A fish hook, a skull, a dagger, and a postage stamp. Oh, there's a dagger right in front of me. Copy only. Copy only. Oh, it's a copy only stamp. Fish hook, skull, potions. Oh, that's a stamp. Oh, okay. That's not a stamp, though. It's gonna be tricky and be anti-tricky. Where is... There's a razor blade. What am I looking for? Postage stamp, skull, fish hook. Postage stamp, skull, skull, duh. There's a little tiny key. There's that weird thing. Dream catcher and a lizard with a feather. Oh, there's a fish hook. I knew I saw it. And a last postage stamp. Hmm. This is a lot easier to see than the last game we were playing. Up oh, there it is. The first couple mystery case files games. Um, they're so old that the screens are incredibly small when they're not in full screen and I can't play them in full screen. And oh my gosh, it's ridiculous. Okay, the sound got quieter, so it is just... A Aw, it's a puppy. The poor dog has been stealing to attract attention. His doghouse is full of stuff. Oh, he's a grumpy dog. Would you want to be grumpy, puppy? I'd be your friend. And a fresh mound. Better to dig than think about what's buried here. I mean, I would just avoid it. Whoa, what is that? Wow. That's an interesting assortment of stuff. All right, piano key, two gnomes. Oh, there's two. A dagger, a belt, a fiddle bow. Right there. A seven, three books, there's one. A frame, a shaving brush, cane, Goblet and two treble clefts. Who's that? Hmm. All right, a piano key and a dagger. Is there a book? No. There's a dagger. There's another book. There's a fish. It's weird. Oh, that's a cane. There's a treble clef. And is that a compass? We don't need a compass. What else do we need? Piano key, a belt, and a seven. Piano key. Is that a piano key? No, that's a belt. Is that a piano key? Yes. A seven, a book, a frame, and a shaving brush. There's a shaving brush. Oh, there's the other treble clef. Alright. Oh, there's a seven. Is this a book? Yes. Is that a book? No. Okay, so a frame and a goblet. Oh, I don't need another book. Is that a frame? Yes, okay. And a goblet. Is that it? I keep thinking stuff in this corner is the hint button, because the hint button usually comes up a little higher than the than the list, but in this game they're even with each other. Ooh, look, a rainbow! This window is right over the platform. I just need to break it. What platform? 
are you talking about? M void for male. Well, of course it's for male. One, two, pretty coming for you. Three, four, better lock your jaw. Five, six, grab your crucifix. Seven, eight, better stay up late. Nine, ten, never sleep again. What just happened? I don't think I should click on that bear again. One, oh good, two, he's gonna do it again. Alright, shush, sure, stop. <laughs> Wait! Isn't that, like, something Freddy Krueger actually says? I've never watched the movie, but that sounds like something he would say. It looks like an entrance door intercom. Somebody's access card is stuck in it. Okay, good. I'm not crazy. I haven't watched it. I don't like scary movies, contrary to popular belief. And they just put that in here, huh? Said by a creepy teddy bear stuck in the mailbox. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, wait. I know, it's sizzly. Can you stop sizzling? It's very annoying. No, they didn't! What is that? An injector. Okay. Is that important for some reason? Did I get anything sharp? No. And this is solvent. Oh, I can get the paint off of that angel statue for some reason. Oh, it's one of the planets. Ha 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 ha. I don't think that's how that works. All right. Wait. Oh, hang on. We need to go back and make sure we didn't miss anything. Let's see. First aid. Okay. Having exited the tram by the window, I crossed the platform to the courtyard of the Mo Mountain Hotel. It seems the microclimate climate, the microclimate system doesn't extend this far. One of the flagstones on the path provided a simple hiding place. Even a novice astronomer could crack the solar system sticker. Stickler. Okay. A hungry, depressed dog is chained to his doghouse near the hotel. I believe it's an Irish wolfhound, but it's too ragged to tell. It seems to drag everything it finds into its house. It'd be interesting to look inside, but the dog is in a hostile mood. A bit of food might soften it up. There was a cute postcard in the mailbox near the hotel entrance. I took it for my collection. Perhaps it'll come in handy later. If not, it's a nice memento of my first case. We already looked at that. Someone buried the belongings of writer Kevin Sting near the hotel porch. Oh, that's what all that stuff was. The only motive I can figure is purging of evidence. This doesn't bode well, as Mr. Sting would hardly agree to interring his typewriter. In the mailbox on the porch, I found a teddy bear. This terrifying toy sang me a, some creepy nursery rhyme. It seemed vaguely familiar to me. <laughs> yeah, that is in fact vaguely familiar if they stole it from uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. All right, it seemed vaguely familiar. I wonder why. All right, let's see here. Mercury. Wait, what? Didn't they just say Mercury? Venus. Oh, Earth. Mars. Jupiter. Saturn. Uranus. Neptune. There's no Pluto. Oh, I'm not supposed to go in order. I'm supposed to actually put them in the right order. So this is Mercury... Venus, Earth. Every planet has your robots. That's right. She's she's writing a book about robots, and it's very good. And they live on the different planets: Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus. Oh, this one doesn't have Pluto. And underneath is a K. 
can of dog food. That's weird. I should befriend the hungry dog with food. Yeah, yeah, I got that. Wow, that's a lot of weird stuff, too. All right. Hammer, dog head, pea pods. Metal. Doll head. The cannage meat vending machine. Was that this game or the other game? There, we've run across some really strange things in the last couple of games. Like, even comparatively. That was Haunted Hotel. That's what I thought. Razor, egg scales, five hands, tweezer, and a scroll. Well, there's the pea pods. And there's another hand. All right, we need a hammer, a dog head, and a metal. A hammer. Wait, that's a pipe. Hammer, 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 hammer. Dog head. Oh, there's another hand. There's the metal. There's another hand. Very weird collection of things. Hammer, dog head, and a doll head. Oh, there's the doll head. And two more smoking pipes. And, oh, there's the other hand. An egg and scales. It's eggy. A weird lizard. Some random stuff in this picture. Oh, look, dog biscuits. That actually should go there. It's paw print count? No, okay. Paw print is not a hand print. Good to know. Oh, there's the dog head. And tweezers and a scroll. All right, is that a pipe? Yes, that's a pipe. Okay. All right, so a hammer, a smoking pipe, a razor, an egg, scales, tweezers, and a scroll. All right, so a hammer. Where's the hammer? That's drumsticks. Oh, wait, that was the egg. <laughs> uh, there's a paintbrush. Oh, there's tweezers. And I cannot wait till we leave this section and we don't hear that zzz, zzz noise anymore. It is really irritating. And what am I smoking with? Smoking pipe, razor, and scales. Is this the scales? Nope, that's the scroll. That's another pipe. Okay, so now just razor and scales. Wait, I saw the razor twice. There it is. Good job, me. All right, and scales. I've actually figured out that this is harder for me to do when I'm actually pointing the mouse where I'm looking or near where I'm looking, as opposed to just quickly scanning the screen with my eyes. But then you guys have no idea what I'm doing. I don't see it. Oh, yeah, okay. I should have seen that. I found a hammer. I don't know what that's for, but I found it. Okay, uh, I don't want to go in the mailbox again. That was creepy. Can I get that out with this? Oh, uh, we get to play a math game. Uh, all right, hammer the door open. I would, let me tell you. No, not math, and Erdite's not here tonight. Um, I'm close. I'm very close. I can't, he's not here. I know, right? I mean, we can technically skip the puzzle, but I figured I could try it like once. So close. Yeah, okay, I think we're gonna skip this. I don't really want to go get one of my kids, thanks. I don't want to. The door is safely locked from the inside. The internet com won't answer any calls. Okay, so what did I get? An access card. Oh, that must be for the other door. <laughs> well, he looks like Uncle Sam, remember? Mountain Hotel something card. Kevin Sting. Okay, so this is his card. Guest card. Thank you. What's what we do? Okay. There. Oh, I have to use all of these? Be that way. There. Happy? It's too dark in the tunnel. The light lacks a bulb. Okay, do I have a bulb? 
No. Well, how is that helpful then? What else do I have? I have a hammer and a pocket knife and an injector and a piano key. Oh, I can use this to get the light bulb. I knew that. It it doesn't keep glowing when you when you unscrew it from the electricity. You know that, right, game? Okay. It's the cellar's damp and moldy as a dungeon. These creatures Poor creature asks for help. His friend is injured. Aww. One of them is is hurt. Wait. Nails. That's all I got in there, huh? Board. Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Yeah. I know! I don't know what is up with that! Okay, so I have an injector and a hammer and a nail and a board. Oh, I gotta look in here. I followed the Gargantua... I followed Gargantua's tracks into the hotel cellar. In the middle of the room, among the mold and filth, was another creature. He, or she, was wounded and in pain. The offending weapon could have been the same epi or dagger that killed the postman. I'm resolved to help these innocent creatures, and I know just the place to scrounge up some medicine. Some nails were found in the cabinet of the slippery brick wall. They're a bit rusted, but may still come in handy. The puzzle locks created by Void are everywhere. He seems to be playing a game with me. Prove yourself worthy, and the Void world will open itself to you. Got all of that. Someone's access card was stuck in the intercom. I had to switch it on when I removed the card. I'd hoped no one was home, but then I saw a serious void for the first time. Mind your own business or you won't live to see dawn, he hissed on screen. Too bad my business is interfering with criminal business. Sirius is the one who should be worried, especially now that he knows I'm here. Uh, let's see, there's this creepy teddy bear. Look, they drew pictures. Oh no! Look, see, one of them is happy and gives balloons and flowers, and the other one is mean and thwaps them with a whip, and now they're sad. And there's a bat, which is adorable. This picture drawn by the wounded monsters looks like a kid's drawing or doing. Though it's quite primitive, the creature has depicted the story of their life here. The kind Malleus Void created them and they were happy, but the cruel man in a mask appeared and wounded one of them and turned the other into a guard dog in the mansion. Heavens, why must every benevolent genius be plagued by a malevolent demon? Yeah, this is Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde poster in the background. We already figured out it's the same person. I guess this is for you? The troll couple is leaving. Only one can, oh, one can only hope something. Why do the messages disappear so fast? An injection of regenerating liquid from an unusual syringe healed the second creature. They've left, and I'm sincerely happy that I, to have helped them. The real monsters are those who imprisoned and hurt them. I guess so. Okay, well, they went that way, and I guess we go this way. Oh, look, we have to make a ladder. The missing rung must be affixed with nails. Yeah, always. Ladder, ladder, ladder. Did the sound stop? Yeah, the sound finally stopped! Yay! Sorry about that, everyone. It was annoying us just as much as it was annoying you. There's nothing to do in the cellar, at least for the moment. Okay. Oh, go here. Go here. Scuba equipment? Okay. Uh, well, let's see. Let's go in this door because it's the closest. Oh, not much here either. The wallpaper is ripped. A hiding place by chance? Oh, I just figured that all 
all by myself, thank you. I've left the damp dungeon-like cellar for a dry and cozy hotel corridor. Well, it would be cozy if it wasn't in the middle of nowhere with a murderer stalking its halls. This funny but scary postcard was hidden behind a layer of decrepit wallpaper. Will it add to my repertoire of our odd things, or will it actually come in handy? Yeah. Improv calls for a climbing mechanism to reach the vent. Why do I need to reach the vent? Wow, that's a lot of stuff. Five birds, four fans, a scepter, a bowling pin, an iron cross, spyglass, chest piece, magnet, tape measure, corkscrew, Nefertiti, and a wig. All right, let's find the birds and the fans. Oh, there's Nefertiti. There's a bird and another bird and a fan. Fan and corn and a wig and what else are we looking for? Oh, there's another fan. Two birds, a fan, and a scepter. There's a knife and a feather duster. Oh, there's a scepter. Uh, let's see. A bowling pin and an iron cross. That's not a bowling pin. It's shaped like a bowling pin, though. A bowling pin and an iron cross and two birds. Where's the other birds? There's a bird. What is that? Is that part of a Moroccan, maybe? I don't know. There's a Marrakesh doll. Uh, what am I looking for? A spyglass. There's a spyglass. And a chest piece and a magnet and a tape measure. I saw the tape measure. Where's the tape measure? Tape measure. Dang it. I hate it when that happens. Tape measure and a magnet and a chest piece. Tape measure and a magnet. Oh, there it is. I knew I saw it. And a chest piece. There's a light bulb. Oh, there's the iron cross. And... I keep forgetting I'm hearing a frog because I have a frog with me. It's like every once in a while I'll hear a ribbit. And I'm like, why do I hear a ribbit? <laughs> All right, bird fan bowling pin. Bird, I don't see the bowling pin at all. Bird fan bowling pin. There's a syringe. Here's a bird. It's a pretty bird. Let's see. Oh, there's the bowling pin. That's not a bowl. Well, it might be a really old bowling pin. That actually looks more like a juggling pin, which is slightly different. All right, chest piece, magnet, corkscrew, and a fan. Oh, there's a magnet. I saw that like four times too. Good job, me. All right, let's see. Fan, chest piece, corkscrew. Up oh, there's chest piece. Chess piece. Is that the corkscrew? No. Oh, there it is. And one more fan. There it is. Cool beans. We got a magnet. And we want to get in the vent for some reason. I don't know why we can't just stand on the chair, but that's fine. All right, let's go this way. He looked better in the dark. Weird. Oh, good, that's information. The inscription on this poster is more than an ironic twist. Is it though? Password seems to be needed here. Is it surprise? Uh, I don't think so either. S U R P surprise. Oh, oh, oh. Wow, I figured that out completely on accident. Wait, I don't want to go up there yet. Can I go up the stairs? Whoa. Could that be the ghost of Rebecca Thatcher? Where is it beckoning me and what does it want to say? How come this game has ghosts and Haunted Hotel doesn't? There's a person in the study, but the study steel door neither has a lock nor a knob. Oh my gosh, there's a person tied to the armchair. I will finally get to speak to a witness? No, they're probably dead already, dude. Why do I want that? 
I rounded the corner of the stairwell and witnessed an unbelievable scene. A ghostly figure shot me a sad glance, took a step and walked through a steel door. When I finally regathered my wits, a frightening idea struck me. The ghost resembled the, and acted like Broadway star Rebecca Thatcher. I peered through the window of the steel door which the lovely phantom walked through. There was a study with a man sitting with his back to me. Could I have finally found a living witness? Probably not. I need to go in and find out, but the door has neither lock nor knob. There must be some other way. Uh-oh. Detective, if you are reading this, you must have managed to reach the Mountain Hotel. You are one step closer to solving the mystery of the Void family. I want you to know that I came here of my own will. I agreed to stage my own disappearance, and now I play my last part. I cannot tell you the many secrets I've discovered because it would be too long of a story, and I'm almost out of paper. But please know, dead or alive, I will help you solve this case, Rebecca Thatcher. That's different. I guess that's the shower. And we need a key. All right, so I guess we're going to go this way then. It's an elevator. Okay. And the panel's broken. I have a magnet. What is this? Oh, that's the oxygen tank. Why do I need an oxygen tank? There's something beneath this grating, but its mesh is too narrow to cut. A less conventional method is called for burn grating burn. Wait, can I burn it with this? I have to light it. That would be exciting. Yeah, and I'm not picking up the free dollar though, apparently. Okay, so I have a magnet and an oxygen tank. And I need to find something to climb up here. Can I use the magnet to open the door? Probably not. No, I didn't think so. Okay. Ha! Huh. Interesting! Oh, this kind of looks like an M.C. Escher floor. Cool. Oh, okay. That got another scene. The grating in the elevator floor is made from a dense steel net. Judging from the draft, something is down there. Since cutting the mesh isn't an option, perhaps I can figure out a way to burn it. Well, yeah, if I had anything to light things with. All right. Right. So we need a key for here. We need a way to open that door. Oh, what's this over here? Aha, a key. Did that say bathroom? It probably did. I wasn't paying attention. All right. That's not something you put in the bathtub. A bathroom as a chemical laboratory? Interesting. I need to read those faster because they disappear really fast. Acid? Well, that doesn't sound like a good idea. All right, let's see. Acid hookah, three crocodiles, three lilies, and a valve. Let's do that first. Crocodile, lily, and four valves. What is that? Oh, it's a zebra. Acid and hookah, we need a party. I don't think it's that kind of acid. <laughs> um, what am I, oh, there's a crocodile and a valve. And a fishy and another crocodile. Okay, I got all the crocodiles. I need one more lily and three more valves. There's another one. I mean, aren't these all valves technically? Yes. And there's a fan. And a grenade. Oh, I need a grenade. I need another grenade. Okay. And a frog. I love frogs. Is that a valve? Yes. And there's another valve. I don't see the other lily. Oh, there it is. It's made out of glass. All right. Acid portrait. There's the portrait. Grenade, mixer, and a, there's the wheel. And headphones and a paw. All right. So acid, grenade, mixer, headphones. There's the headphones. Acid, grenade, mixer, and a paw. Acid, there's the grenade. Acid, I've clicked on like a bunch of these bottles and none of them are the acid. Oh wait, there it is. It says acid on it. <laughs> a mixer and a paw. There's a hand. Hands are like paws for people. No? Frogs don't have paws, frogs have feet. Oh, there's a paw. 
It's actually a clawed foot. The paw is the under part, isn't it? No, the paw is the whole thing. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm looking for a mixer. There's an abacus. Mixer on bathtub edge. Oh, look at that. Wow, that's an old school mixer. I found acid in the bathtub. And destroying the wall equals finding the witness. Oh, because the next room over is the correct room. I was trying to figure out the thought process behind that. What a strange mirror. It's blurred and contorted as if it's hiding something? The mirror doesn't reflect properly, if then its only purpose is to deceive. Bizarre. What's over here? Oh, there we go. Yay, a wrench! We can use that to pound on the wall. You certainly could. Don't even give me that. You would also destroy the wrench, but that would in fact work. How about if we destroy the mirror instead? Yay! Wait, what is that? A detonator? Wait. We're gonna blow some up, that's for darn sure. Okay. None of that really helps me either, does it? I have acid now. What do I need acid for? I don't know what I need acid for. Oh, I need acid for this. I knew that. I was figuring we were gonna find a blowtorch. Because if you know, if you pour acid on something, the likelihood is whatever's underneath it, it's gonna get damaged. Incredible, there's an older construction under the hotel. I'd have to look, but I can't breathe. What? Underwater, okay. I mean, I have, stop. I have this, but we left the mask in the safe. Right. Okay, sure, whatever. Bell, four daggers. One, two, that would not be floating. Probably this one neither. Three. Uh, oh, and a crossbow. Oh, there it is, four. A pitcher, a candle holder, and a fish. There's a fish. Three starfish. One. <laughs> Good thing I can hold my breath for a long time. <laughs> What's the longest someone can hold their breath for? It's like seven minutes or something, I think. I forget. Most people, it's three minutes. Like, at best. Uh, what am I looking for? Pitcher, candle holder, copper wire. Right there. Oh, that's a candle holder. A frame, which is floating right there. Is that a real person? There's no way that's a real person. That sounds like a Terry Pratchett character. He's a famous pirate. I don't believe you. <laughs> a pitcher and a whistle. Pitcher. And a whistle. There, I whistled. Does that count? There it is. I got a crossbow. I now have three completely unrelated forms of destroying things. A wrench, a detonator, and a crossbow with chain. <laughs> How are these things useful? Alright, I guess this is probably for this? I could just stand on the chair! That is not easier! There's dynamite hiding in the vent. <laughs> Why? Why? Ugh. <sighs> Interesting that's adjacent to the study. That's what it said at the end of that. Wait, what is this? It's strange device in the dynamite block is a safety lock. Wait. Match the red balls to the red wires. Oh. I am fairly confused. Hey, hang on, hang on. 
Now wait just one minute. All right, let's do this in a logical way, shall we? I started doing it right and then I just stopped. There we go, we got it, okay. I don't, for safety's sake, I will trigger the detonator from the hallway. You think maybe? I mean, I would go farther away than that, but. <laughs> <laughs> that went right over where the dynamite or the detonator was. You be dead, dude. Yeah, see, that is what dynamite does. It completely destroys everything around it, not just the thing you attach it to, like in a couple of the other games we've done. Oh, there's nobody there. He's dead with no head. Is this one of Serious Boy's evil experiments? Is that a real person? Here, an accumulator or battery is missing. Some, one, some, some powerful and unusual battery. Okay. Someone stubbed out Malleus Void's eyes with a cigarette. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is very strange. It seems the bathroom was used as a chemical laboratory by its owners. One of the, their experiments must have cracked the wall, which just happens to be adjacent to the study. If I can demolish the wall, I can reach the man in the armchair. It turns out the elevator shaft was built inside a tower. Apparently the hotel was established atop an old fortress. There was water at the bottom of the shaft, but I can't examine it until I find some diving equipment. Oh, uh, let's see. There's something inside the air vent, but I must figure out a way to climb up the wall so I can reach it. That was not a good way to climb up the wall. The explosive turned out to be more powerful than I thought. The bathroom is totally destroyed and the crack in the wall has become a gaping hole. Thank goodness I had the good sense to detonate the bomb from the hole. It looks like now I can enter the study. This room is a study and a crazy scientist's laboratory at the same time. But all my theories fell to the wayside as soon as I saw the alleged witness. The man in the armchair has lost his head. He can no longer hear, see, or speak the void secrets. Dead. Experiment 665. Imagine all the possibilities of transforming homeo si homeo. Homo sapiens into energetic form of life. You may say that I'm a dreamer, but I'm not the only one. <laughs> I was joined by my experiment subject, Kevin Sting. Experiment procedure. Applied a few seconds of extremely high voltage currents to subject. Strong convulsions and chaotic reflexes were observed. After increasing the voltage further and adding V radiation, the dematerialization of the subject's head took place, as hoped? But then a shortage in the power plant output was detected. The experiment was aborted prematurely and the subject died. <laughs> However, switching the machine on again materialized the subject's head. Apparently, it was supported by external power supply. Report by Sirius Void. P.S. Damn thunderstorm shorted my power. I wish Mr. Sting had brought a friend or a brother. I could have completed the experiment before my mysterious tracker showed up. Malleus Void. Bizarre. This is very strange. Like, more so than I initially expected. What is that? Is that a bloodhound lamp? An invisible woman, apparently. Money! Why do I need money? I mean, it's good, but... Oh, look! It's Elephant Game symbol. A safe in the form of a slot machine. I think I'm going to need coins. I have coins. I'm just going to keep doing this until I hit the jackpot. Do I like push buttons or something? Really?
Oh my gosh. Yay! I, that's not a key, that's a doorknob. Okay. I guess I'm done for the moment because the little game symbol disappeared. It is just a gambling addiction. Uh, safe without a handle won't open. Correct. Give me that. Usually you have to unlock the safe as well, but apparently we're going to skip that step. Three angels. That looks like the angel of death, but okay. Is that an angel? No, that's just a person. All right, what else? Uh, a fish hook, a jewel, a paperclip, a flashlight, a nuclear battery? Oh, that's that. A dart, a horse, two airplanes. There's one airplane. A feather, three horseshoes, and three screws. Well, there's one. And there's another one. Okay. And another horsey, too. All right, let's see. An angel, a fish hook, and a jewel. Or two angels, rather. Angel and a fish hook and a jewel. There's a grenade and a whistle. There's a lot of guns in this safe, though I suppose that's where guns belong, generally speaking. There are a lot of guns and knives, though. This person really liked guns. Okay, a paperclip and a flashlight. I thought I saw a flashlight. No, that's a camera. That's a flashlight. And an airplane and a feather. I thought I saw a feather, too. And two more horseshoes and a screw. Is that a feather? No, that's like a lotus flower. There's a paper clip. There's an angel. A fish hook, a dart, and an airplane. There's another airplane. I thought I saw a dart. There's the dart. Two horseshoes and a screw. And a frog ribbiting. Ribbit, ribbit. Wait, there's a police badge in there. Why is there a police badge in there? Is one of them working with the police? Am I paying attention to anything I'm looking at? Nope. Up oh, there's a horseshoe. And a screw and a feather. I keep seeing this and thinking it's a feather. There's a pen. All right, what am I actually looking for here? Come on, pay attention. Oh, there we go, fish hook. All right, feather horseshoe screw. That's a sheriff's badge. I just remembered I have cookies. Yay, I get cookies after I finish streaming. How do I not see any of these things? A feather, a horseshoe, and a screw. There's feather. That was really good hiding. Good job, game. Okay, so a horseshoe and a screw. Is the horseshoe on the handcuff? Yes, it is! I started looking there and then I got distracted and I kept going without continuing to look. Is that the screw? No. I don't see it down here. Is that it? Yes, I thought that was a decoration on the gun. I mean, it technically was, but... Can I do this one again now? Because it says three is a key and seven is something else. But I don't think I can do it yet because when I do that it doesn't bring up the game thing. Battery. Does that go... Oh, that... I need a powerful source of energy. Wait, what? Drag the nuclear battery into the slot below. Okay. Uh, well, at least these can go sideways and up and down. That's an annoying noise, though. Well, that's not gonna work. Stop it! It's a very annoying noise. Don't like that at all. Hmm. That put me exactly where I just was. Dang, Abbott. I am like 
missing something important here. And I don't know what it is. Yeah. Oh, it doesn't help me at all, does it? Oh, I need to get... You know what? Nope. I think I'm done with this one. Sorry, guys. Kevin Sting, the Void's second disappearance and second casualty. I must solve this case before something else happens. I must solve this case before something even worse happens. I mean, two people being dead is pretty bad. Do we know that the magician's dead? I'm gonna try this a couple of times. Oh, that's right! Yep. Maybe we don't believe in ghosts. Okay, yeah, I guess we have to wait until it lets us do that again. He's dead with no head. Right, okay. What did we get out of that? Nothing. We got nothing out of that. Alright, well, we got information, I guess. This horror story isn't a story. Hardly had I switched on the Tesla machine when Kevin Sting came to life. He kept saying the same phrase over and over as if wound up. I'm Kevin Sting. I'm mechanical. I'm immortal. I'm mechanical. I'm immortal. 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 These words from a dead voice with a mechanical twinge to it. It's better to die than to be resurrected in this way every time high voltage current hits you. Kevin Sting played the wrong card and is paying heavily for his mistake. But why did Void need to conduct this horrible experiment? Because he's an evil genius. The real question is, what am I supposed to do now? A button fell on the floor from the holographic image of this. Oh, you're right. Push. That must be for the elevator. I guess we get to use the elevator now. There isn't a single- oh. Here we go down. Weird. Wow, we're going down really far. Oh, this must be the subway. I thought they just started building the subway. Why is there suddenly a whole bunch of other stuff in this thing? There wasn't this stuff before, there was just the mop and the broom. Weird. Alright, four cassette tapes. Ah, uh, what else? A glass eye, scissors, a bag, a horse, sheet music, Blue bumblebee. That's weird. Matches three umbrellas. There's one. And two. And a button, a mouse trap, and a wind chime. There's a horse. Okay. Oh, there's a sheet music. Two cassettes, scissors, and a bag. There's a, ooh, that one is a broken cassette. Oh, there's the matches. Uh, there's the bag. Another cassette, okay, a cassette, scissors, umbrella, button. Because there's the button. Cassette, scissors, umbrella. Cassette, oh, is that? No, that's nothing. There's the cassette. Okay, so scissors and, an oh, there's a scissors right there. Good job. And an, an umbrella. There it is. I found an eyeball! Out of all those things, the eyeball was the thing I wanted, huh? Okay. 
Um, all right. Without rubber boots, I'll get shocked when I touch the water. That's fair. I mean, if you touch anything, you're gonna get shocked too. Are you kidding, Void? I need the conductor's eye to open the cabin door. And that's what I just found? Bikes, carrier bags might hold something important. I just need to get rid of the barbed wire. Okay, well, let's go in here first, I guess. First time in a conductor's cabin, and I'm expected to run the train. I mean, the train is underwater. I don't think you're going to be able to do much of anything. Buttons, toggle switches, and levers. How do I drive this beast? This re lever releases the train brakes, but the door should be closed first. The throttle will give gas to the train only if the brake is released. A starter key should be inserted here. Okay, so I need a key to start the train. First I must insert the key. Alright, so we need a key. Let's start there. Is that a soda machine? Void Cola. <laughs> Alright, how do I fix the Void Cola machine? Okay. If the doors open now, water will flood the train. That is correct. Oh, look. A helmet with a light. Brooklyn? A screw. Doors are stuck. They must be open from the inside. Keys! No handle, no problem. I'll just break the glass. How come I can't do that all the time? Had to break the glass. Propeller fuel is leaking from the old barrel. It actually says oil, but that's okay. Pump is bro a broken pump is impossible to switch on. Yeah, okay, that's fair too. Uh, this must be the broken pump. I can't start the water pump till I install the engine, which I can do now, right? Didn't I just get the thing to tell me how to do that? Diesel pump. Yeah, it's right here. The elevator ride seemed endless. Down and down we went. When it finally stopped, I saw a real subway platform outside the door. Real and flooded with water, that is. Doesn't appear anyone's been down here for a while. At the end of the subway, I found a diesel pump. I think once I repair it and add fuel, I can drain the flooded station. A retina scanner grants access to the conductor's cabin, of all things. Neither key nor crowbar can help now. But where can I find the conductor's eye? The very thought of this disgusts me. The glass eye opened the lock. I wonder who it actually belonged to. I managed to get inside the conductor's cabin, but the control panel is locked until the starter key is inserted. Even if I find the key, however, I won't be able to drive this train to no... I won't be able to drive this train to nowhere without an instruction manual. Maybe if I rummage around the cabin, I'll find one. Okay, that's all the different things to do. Alright. So, I can't do this yet, I guess? I don't know why, though. Once again, I face darkness. Now, where can I find a light? On my head! Yay! A blowtorch without fuel is pretty much useless. Yes. Money! Why do I need money? As it turns out, the subway tunnels dead ahead... Oh, I'm sorry. As it turns out, the subway tunnels dead end isn't so dead after all. A huge bank vault is stowed away back there. Some numbers are written on this piece of paper. Is it a reminder of some sort? That's not a piece of paper. That's a dollar. <sighs> okay, so we need oil. How can I possibly find enough keys to open all these drawers? Didn't I just? Yeah, I thought so. It seems as if all the drawers are closed. If all the drawers are closed, the valuable... Oh, got it. Where? 
Oh, thank you. I don't know if that's actually going to help me, but thank you. It's always hard to tell with this particular puzzle. Yay, I did it! A record. That was not what I was expecting to find in there. Why am I not wearing this on my head? Why did I attach it to a hook on the wall? Oh, that must be part of the, the sump pump. Someone tried to break into the safe. The last rivet must be replaced before it can be opened. Don't you want to take all the rivets off? This is very strange. Why would you want to replace the rivets? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, we're doing another one of these? Come on now. Now the panel requires a code. Oh, we don't have the code yet. Okay, that's fine. I don't want to do that right now anyways. Okay, so if I pick this up and bring it to where the fuel is, I will be able to fill it with fuel. But that's not going to let me do that. Okay, now I can reattach everything. Well, that goes there. That goes there. This goes here, I think. Probably that goes there. And that goes there. Now the pump is fixed. Yay! I did it! The booming rumble, the diesel pump started working, and we're going to die of carbon monoxide. Good job, us. <laughs> Yay, fumes. Bang on it. Dude, that would work. Okay, the doors are stuck. Right, I knew that already. Oh, we can get this off with the cutters. Interesting. All right, tin can. Three hieroglyphs. That's not a hieroglyph. That is, uh, I believe, Chinese symbols, not hieroglyphics. Also, not hieroglyphics. Good job, guys. That I'm pretty sure that's Chinese. It might be a different Asian language, but it's not hieroglyphs. Sheesh. Leather case. Let's see. What else do we need? Tin can bearing holster and a spring. There's that. Uh, two coins. There's one. And two. And an ice axe, which we already had one of in this game. Which is this. And a tape reel and a cane and four lizards. Wait, I want to find the four lizards. One, two. Where are the lizards? What was that? Oh, a lash. That's not what I thought that meant. What else do I need? A tin can is down here. A bearing, a spring, a tape reel, a cane, and two more lizards. Bearing. That's still a slinky. Uh, a cane and two lizards. Is that a cane? No, that's a hook. That's a sword. Where's the other lizards? Lizard, lizard. Where is you? Froggy, you're not a lizard. There's a lizard. A cane, a tape reel. Oh, that's this. I knew that. A cane and a lizard. Is this a cane? Oh, no, it's a lizard. <laughs> And a cane. That's a plunger. And it's a tie. That's a hockey stick. There's the cane. I was close. It was right next to that hook. I found a can. Okay. Oh. I can power up this vending machine if I find a fuse. Did I find a fuse? No, I found a can. If someone thinks chains will stop me, he's wrong. Didn't I just have cutters that cut through the barbed wire? It'd probably work. Oh wait, what's over here? Uh, what is this nonsense? Mountaineer equipment should allow me to scale the wall. It's a chain link fence. You could just climb it. What? Why? Why is there a refrigerator? A crafty pulley system keeps the gate closed with the help of a fridge. No. If this is the pulley... And this is the gate. Pulling down on this would make the gate go up. 
pull, cutting this would keep the gate closed forever. Yes, I I agree. I I think the game is also starting to lose the thread. We have a tin can and a record. How does that help us? It doesn't help us. We need a key. What are you tin canned for? Alright, let's check back here because I bet we're missing something again. Yep, alright. Oh, okay. At the end of the subway, I found a diesel pump. I think once I repair it, yeah, we already did that. It would be nice to get inside the mysterious train, but if I open the door before pumping out the water, the car will flood one at once. Wait, there's a chain on the door. Could somebody be locked inside? Or something. I must find a way to cut or even melt the chain. I managed to get inside the conductor's cabin, but the control panel is locked until the starter key is inserted. Even if I find the key... I think I read that already. I did read that already. Okay. Uh, no, I don't want to come back in here. Let's go back this way. Oil. Oh, we can put oil in the tin can. You know what else we could have done? And I know this is hard to process for this game. But we could have picked this up off of the floor and brought it over to where the oil was and filled it up there. I don't know why that's an issue, but that is a thing that we could have done as we're currently holding it now. Wait, how did the doors open? I thought, thought I had to open the doors from inside the conductor's place. The actress again, and she's surrounded by dead musicians. Who locked the jazz players in here? What is going on? Poor saxophonist. His decomposed fingers still cradle his beloved instrument. I've never seen a guitar case lock made out of an old record player before. That's because that's not a thing. This record is broken. What is this? The record is cracked. I know. And you must adjust the needle's path so that it reaches the center of the record. Or it's the center. The record has five paths on each of on each of them. The needle can go along the right edge, the left edge, and the center. Press the direction buttons on the remote to program the needle's movement. Then press start. In you make in you make a mistake, you can adjust the needle again. That didn't make a lot of sense to me, but I think I know what it's trying to say. Okay, um. pretty good music okay so this one has to be up and this one has to be middle and this one has to be down and this one has to be middle and this one has to be down I think It's not how records work, it's a continuous line, but that's fine. Also, this is making me dizzy. <laughs> so I hope I did it right, because I don't want to have to watch this again. Did I do it wrong? Or did that win? Okay. I wasn't paying attention. It was making me dizzy. Okay, let's see. Gramophone record. Music symbol. Five. One. Two. Three. Four. Four is good. Uh, bell and guitar pegs. Peacock feather. Four bow ties. One. Two. Three. Four. Headphones, which I thought I saw, but now I don't. A piano pedal. A fiddle bow. Fiddle fiddle. That's a cool top hat. A mouth harp, which is that. And a stamper, which I assume is not an instrument. Oh, there's the other music note. Okay, 
So a glove, a bell, headphones, and a stamper. Oh, there's that's not actually a stamper. That's an ink blotter. They are different. Glove, bell, headphones. Let's see. Glove. That's not a bell. Oh, that's a glove. I didn't see that. That That's a trumpet, I believe. That's not a bell. Oh, wait. Nope, that's not a bell. Is this a bell? No. I don't know what that is. Oh, that's part of a saxophone. I'm losing track here. Bell and headphones. Okay. Where's the bell? There's the bell. And where's the headphones? I don't see anything that even looks like headphones. Wait, is that them? Yep. Okay. Very old fashioned headphones. And I found a glove. Even when dead, the bassist looks like a cheerful person. How did he get here? I assume someone kidnapped him. That's a paradox. The man is dead, but his trumpet is still intact. How is that a paradox? The trumpet is made out of metal. Okay. Wait, there's two doors. Oh, I can go through both doors now. Okay. And I found... Oh, that's to climb up. Nope, not that. I don't think those giant boots with treads are going to help me climb this. I'd be wrong, but... I need something sharp to cut the rope and free the gate from the fridge's weight. That That's the exact opposite of what needs to happen here. This needs to have more weight so it can go down and pull the gate up. <sighs> Alright, let's fix the soda machine because apparently that's important. Okay, what am I doing? Place the fuses so that the circuit between each pair of contacts is connected. Contact one above should connect to contact one below. Okay. Like that. Okay, that's easy. Alright, so here's two. Now we have, let's see, here's three, three over there. And three over there. Or it's all over here, I think. That and that. Five over here, I see And then six over here. Up there. And seven over here. That and then eight. One. Eight over there. Oh, sorry. Yay! Now I guess I press void. Oh. Void cola. Machine is working, I need a coin. Well, I don't have a coin. Why did you get that machine working if you didn't have a coin? Can I just break this with a gloved hand? No? Okay. Oh, I still don't have the thing for that, do I? Maybe I do. Nope, I'm still missing something there. Oh, you're right. Okay. Let me just read whatever's left in here and then we'll stop. The doors parted with a screech. I entered the car and stumbled upon a dead jazz party. As in... As in it was not hap... Oh. I stumbled on a de dead jazz party. As in it was not happening because all the players were skeletons. That's terrible. It's like a page right out of Kevin Sting's book. The saxophonist, the drummer, the bass player, all dead. The light flickered and the actress appeared again. She held a skull in her hands, much like Hamlet did. The skull of poor Yorick. The ghost beckoned me again and pointed at a door at the end of the train. Oh, serious void, I hope you don't consider yourself a man of infinite jest. Sure, whatever. And that's all we got. Okay. I don't think we have on the save panel you see four numbers and help okay let's, let's back out of this okay so i think we're gonna stop here i'm very confused this game has definitely lost the plot i think we're supposed to be chasing after the bad guy but we don't even know where he is how do we know the direction we're going in is going to help us find him like I'm not entirely- we, originally we were going after the, the big goblin dude, but now we're just wandering around aimlessly.
Pretty much. I mean, at first we were investigating and then we found a dead guy and then we found the the cave troll and the magician in gold. And then we ended up in the amusement park and followed the cave troll. But now we're just wandering around the house at random. Like, I'm not entirely sure where we're where we think we're supposed to be going. I'm confused. All right. Well, that was fun. If a little strange. The next game we're going to do is the first game in the, why am I forgetting, Grim Tales series. And then we're going to go in a rotation between Grim Tales, Haunted Hotel, and Mystery Case Files, and Mystery Trackers. And we're just going to cycle through until we get bored of one of them. <laughs> and I guess that's all that's going on right now. And so many games, I know. We might like just play one for a while. It's possible. But those are the ones we're working on right now. So we'll see. All right. That's all I got for today. So I am fate touched and I will see you later. Bye.